Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tara too. I am really glad you're here. Today's date is Friday, July 14th, 2023. Now this video is not going to be political. It's going to be kind of a mildly woo, not majorly, just mildly. So hang around if wooey topics interest you. And if they don't, I'll see you on the political reads, okay? <laughs> well, earlier this week, I was... Uh, browsing through a site that YouTube doesn't seem to mind if I provide a link to, roserambles.org. Now, as always, this isn't a blanket endorsement of that site, but I do read almost everything they compile there. I enjoy most of it. I believe some of it. I guess that's a way to put it. So uh, while I'm saying this is something that I view and read and value. It's not a blanket endorsement because as always, I want you to use your own discernment of what rings true to you as being truth or not as you do your reading. But I'm gonna to go to a page that's quite a ways down because it's a really busy site that happened earlier this week when they were talking a little bit about some of the things that the world can expect in the near future with ascension events and other things that are going on and with our galactic benevolent helpers. All right, let's pause for a second because I want to share a couple things that I believe to be true. And that, of course, that then is going to kind of explain a little bit of my focus. I believe what I've heard to be true, that because we're in a free will universe, that benevolent off-world help doesn't step in unless asked. And then going with the thought that it doesn't hurt to ask whether that's accurate or not, I've encouraged people to think big and to ask for divine and off-world help in all sorts of things. And certainly that'll be the focus uh, in, in our meditation this coming Sunday when we ask about the transmutation of ingredients in big pharma remedies so that they are benign or helpful. And uh, it's a little plug there <laughs> for our meditation. But that's interesting because I also believe that time is a human construct. And I've heard people say that all events are happening at the same time. I have a little trouble wrapping my mind around it, but I do believe the part, I'm not saying that's wrong, I'm just saying I personally, have trouble wrapping my mind around that. But I do believe that the universe doesn't recognize time as we do. And that's why sometimes I'll encourage people, hey, if you can't join us on a meditation when it's live, do it later. And then just ask our loving creator, whoever you, you know, have your intentions and prayer life with to send your energy back to that time. Okay, well, I think some people were listening and might've done that because look what Rose Rambles had. Just a second, I'm going to share the screen with you. And there will be a link to this specific page in the video description box. That Galactic Special Forces have already helped us. Let us add that it is members of the Special Forces who reduce the toxicity in jabs and erase the programming in the chips, as well as preventing detonation of missiles, nuclear warheads, and causing other weapons to malfunction. That was pretty exciting for me to read. And I thought, hmm, <laughs> since we asked the universe to ignore human construct time barriers on things we asked for it, it means that someone watching this video today could take that to heart and ask for that intercession and mitigation of ingredients in jabs going back to when it was relevant when they were first rolled out. Well, kind of heavy stuff to wrap your mind around, isn't it? <laughs> but it can't hurt. <laughs> Might as well try it. <laughs> I know I'm gonna frame my request that way, not for the time that I'm actually thinking of. Um, oh, let's address this topic. But to when it's relevant, if the, time of intercession and mitigation can happen when it's the best possible time at the rollout or what have you, whatever the event is, hey, let's go for it. 
All right, so here's what I want to do. I want to do a, a read asking if that information was accurate and if there's other insights and information the universe wants us to know. And then I'm going to do two additional cards after the regular kitchen and I've spread of seven. And those are going to be potential outcome that you and I should be aware of if we listen to the advice and insights provided in the first seven cards. All right. It may sound complicated, but it's not. And I'll talk you through it. We're going to find out together what the universe wants us to know. One second. All right. Was that little blurb I shared from Rose Rambles, is that accurate information? Is there other insights and uh, advice the universe has for us? Plus two cards showing us potential outcome if we heed what we learn in the first seven cards. Our first card is the Ten of Pentacles. Six of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Four of Cups. And four of wands. I'll wait on the other two cards and we'll discuss those after we talk about these. Okay. So here's what the cards are telling me. And if I get further uh, insights or downloads as we go, I'll add to them. And I'll, then I'll also show you elements of the cards that kind of bolster what I'm saying. First of all, yes, we have had divine and off-world help in the areas that were mentioned in that blurb plus others. And our advice is, it looks like it's going to be moving ahead. There's gonna be a lot of celebrating as more and more people embrace the, not just their powers of discernment and manifestation, but that the ability to ask in love for help and assistance in in matters that don't involve personal enrichment, but involve the path of humanity and our loving um, world we live on. Okay, so let's take a look here. The situation was, in, was indicated by the 10 of Pentacles, which is an earth sign. And we were asking if earth is being helped by off-world help. Then we have the telling us more about that was indicated with the six of wands, which is a victory card. So yes, we've had, they have interceded at human request and done so very, very successfully. I get the impression they're willing to do more. We only have to ask. Can't hurt to ask. Make that list long. <laughs> Think about it, guys. Pollution radioactivity, the fate of our oceans, our soil, our water, our crops, the weather shenanigans. Let's ask for help with everything because they may not choose to intercede in each and every instance, but if they have to wait until asked, let's make sure we put the ask out there. Politely and lovingly put that ask out and then uh, just wait for the uh, loving response that is going to come. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. We were told that it was special forces within our galactic uh, benevolent helpers that had done that. And the Knight of Pentacles is a card of military and very stable action. Again, an earth sign, just saying, yes, we've been helping earth. We have been helping earth. And they're willing to do more. I say that because here in the present, we have the page coming up. See, and that is a card showing that it is a worthwhile effort and diligence. Okay, so they see humanity as worth assisting. They see us, those of us that are awake that say, we've been slaves for generations. We've been held back. We've been stifled. We haven't had the opportunity to pursue our potential and we want it. 
and we want it. So rather than just erasing us and starting over, we've had this assistance and we're a worthwhile effort. Okay, a loving creator doesn't make junk. Okay, <laughs> all right. Now I said there's some celebration going on. The three of cups in a read like this, when you're asking about spiritual ascension events type of things, the three of cups is one just simply of friendship, working together and celebrating together. Okay, so our off-world help is, is ready to celebrate. They are already so thankful that so many of us are awake, that we are asking, that we are trying to grow, that we're learning the importance of not so much what we do as what we choose to be. And that's cause for celebration. And look, it's bolstered by this. Here, we've got the uh, further inside card with the four cups, which is kind of like, again, he is just in the process of being. He's not doing anything. There's always a little advice here to don't overlook things. There's something that, there's things that could be obvious if you just look a little further. But again, there's absolutely no judgment, no penalty. It's actually where we're supposed to be to learn to be in love, be of high vibration, be of deliberate kindness moving forward. The four of wands, again, is a card, beautiful card, often used when it's discussing unions, love, partnerships, what have you. So again, just bolstering the fact that we are, whether we knew it or not, we are in partnership with some really beautiful off-world help that is willing to do more. And that's why I say, ask big, ask big. It can't hurt. And we've seen that it can help. All right, the two other cards now that we're getting are our potential outcome if we heed this advice. We have the magician, wow. And the four of pentacles. Okay, magician is the ultimate manifester. He has access to all the elements. He's also got them in balance. Again, there's balance and infinity going on here. Just So there's balance, but there's a, no limit to that balance to what it can do. So again, ask big, ask big. And the results may not be as spectacular as we hope because ultimately some of this work has to be done for us. If we humans dirtied up our ocean, I'm sure as part of our learning experience, we're going to need to get our hands dirty and help clean up those oceans. <laughs> so, but the help will be there. The help will be there. And while there's no limit to it, we have to participate in the process too, because we have some lessons to learn. We got lazy and we slid into slavery. It wasn't a sudden event. Other than the fact that there were times that uh, world leaders made deals with negative entities that they shouldn't have, okay? I'm sorry, it wasn't right. It wasn't right saying, oh, you can harvest a few of us. We understand you got some snack needs. No, that wasn't right. <laughs> they don't speak for me. <laughs> okay, let's recap. I shared a blurb that I, of a portion of something I read on roserambles.org earlier this week that talked about help that humanity has already see, received from galactic special forces. And that included um, mitigating some of the potential damage in big pharma cures to making sure that nuclear armaments were deactivated or other armaments uh, malfunctioned and didn't work. So there's been some intercession that we have benefited from according to that. So we asked the universe if that was accurate, plus additional insights and information. We got a big heck yes for the information. The, uh, that there is this earth sign is the pinnacles. So we've got, yes, all, all of humanity, every generation has benefited from, including um, there's animal life indicated here, as indicate have benefited from the help we've received. And uh, that help has been very effective, very effective. The uh, as for them being special forces, near past we had the Knight of Pentacles, which is a card of military action quite often and usually very stable and well thought out um, action. 
Okay, measured response. Think of that, you know, not scorched earth. All right, page of pentacles. This was beautiful. This is our current card. This indicates, again, matters on the earth. This is a card indicating worthwhile effort. So we're worth it. We are worth it. The uh, Our helpers have deemed that and stepped in, and they step in when we ask. Now, near future, celebrating that we're learning to ask for that help we need. Just lovingly, kindly asking. We may get a measured response. We may not get everything we ask for. But if they have to wait to be asked, let's ask. <laughs> And they're celebrating our growing awareness of the fact that sometimes all we need to do is ask and then allow things to be. And that we're growing in, realizing we're moving a little bit away from, we can't move entirely away from, it, but we're moving away from the thought that we have to do things. It is equally, if not important, more important to learn to be things, to be in love to be kind, to be working on our inner selves, to growing ourselves, okay? It doesn't mean we just, you know, sit in a lotus position all day and do nothing else. <laughs> There's still practical matters that have to be dealt with, but we don't need to be contributing any anxiety or stress into what should I be doing? Just learn that, well, for now, just be, be, be in love, be kind. Be helpful, be, be observant and see where you can help others. So they're celebrating that that awareness is rising in humanity. Okay, the uh, four of cups again, kind of, that's why I was saying that we had that, just a nod, that permission to simply be, okay? Doesn't mean be unaware of things going on around you, but it is okay to simply be. And a card, again, this is one of the finest cards in the deck to indicate love and partnership. We are in partnership with, we may be <laughs> very <laughs> juvenile members in this partnership, but we are in partnership with off-world help that is beautiful and loving and, um, and helpful. Now, I got the last two cards were potential outcome. If we listen to that, uh, the, what they shared, that yes, we've helped, Will it be your worthwhile for that help? We'll do more. You need to just ask and uh, stop stressing about what you need to be doing. If it's not evident, learn then the priority of being. And here was the card, the outcome. The ma ultimate manifestation card is the magician, a major arcana again. And when major arcana show up, it means this is, there's, not going to be mitigation of this. There's not going to be a way to divert this. So the manifestation here is happening. It's going to happen. Our skills at uh, asking for help and manifesting the outcomes we want and visualizing them is going to continue. Just a reminder though, that the help we get while we should ask big and dream big we may get measured responses and that's okay because we have some responsibility and lessons to learn. And the example that came to me during the read was our oceans. If mankind has polluted the oceans, some of that cleanup falls back on us to do. We can't just ask for divine help and turn away from it like an entitled little spoiled rich kid, okay? We may have to roll up our sleeves and do some of that work ourselves. But help is out there and love is out there. So that's it for this read. It was just mildly woo, wasn't it? <laughs> we just have to be willing to accept the fact that we're not alone in the universe, that we have um, benevolent helpers that can hear when we ask for help from uh, off-world and benevolent beings. <laughs> Little minor things to accept. Oh, but hopefully you're there, because what can hurt, right? So again, dream big. SB, be willing to roll up your sleeves and help when you can see where that area of help is evident. And when it's not, learn the importance of learning to be. That's it for this video. A final reminder, Sunday, we have a meditation. It is going to be 7 p.m. London time, 2 p.m. Eastern. And if you check 
in the announcement. There is a time and date converter so people from all over the world can join us. It's non-denominational. Any positive energy is welcome. And just a heads up, if your energy you contribute is not positive, we're transmuting it. So you'll help clean up the planet one way or the other. Ha <laughs> ha. Until next time, I send you love and light and all things bright. Bye.